Hi, this is a Cubase quick tip on how to use um, Cubase different mixers, so mix, uh, mix Console 2, Mix Console 3, and how to use workspaces with these mixers to create a custom environment. So um, as you can see on the left here, this little channel strip that I have here is kind of like the inspector, but it's actually just a mix console that's uh, resized to be just one channel strip wide. So if you go studio, um, you see you have mix console, which is the default one when you press F3. And you have mix console 2, mix console 3. So you see this is mix console 2 on the left. And I've actually, I'll maximize it here. You can see Mix Console 2. And I've actually customized it um, here in the racks for routing pre insert sends. And here, um, equalizer curve, channel rack, channel latency. So you can basically create whatever um, you want. It's a custom channel, uh, channel strip view. Um, so I'm not displaying the left or the right of the mixer. So when I resize it, when I click on a channel, it reflects all the processing that's on this channel. A little bit like what you get with the channel settings, but it's much more compact. And why is it better than the inspector? Well, look at this. The inspector, I can see my in out, my inserts, my sends. Okay, and now I don't have any more screen real estate. I have to scroll. I'm not even... I don't even have my fader yet. I don't have to see my EQ yet. And it's not as compact. So it's just a different way of um, of working. Uh, you can use, you could display both if you want. Um, I just like to have this quick uh, view because I like to use uh, Cubase uh, built-in EQ and built-in uh, pre-filtering. You get the phase, the gain. Um, you can quickly see your inserts and your sends. Everything's there. It's, uh, I think it's a nice way of working. Um, so that's with the Mix Console uh, 2. And once you've set it up how you like it, you go in Workspace, Add Workspace, give it a name. Global Workspace will be if you wanted to use for all your other projects in Cubase. Um, and Project Workspace is for this project only. So yeah, you give it a name. And then here I have uh, three workspaces that I saved previously. And you can recall them with Alt-1, Alt-2. That's for importing sounds. Alt-3, full mixer. And back to Alt-1. So yeah, um, I hope this was useful. And that's the quick tip. Thanks.